What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 85 and from this tutorial I will do a couple of tutorials on AWS bedrock okay so this is the first tutorial or you can call it as as a introduction or getting started kind of a tutorial with AWS bedrock and I have actually planned this tutorial long back but um, but but I think right now it's a it's a very uh, like appropriate time to start with AWS Bedrock because we have seen a lot of other uh, LLMs in our tutorial but I haven't done anything with AWS Bedrock so thought of doing this tutorial okay and and one more thing uh, I'm not going to do a very theoretical approach for this thing like what is AWS Bedrock and etc. So those things you, you can actually find it from the Langchain documentation or somewhere else. But I'll be just going to do the um, hands-on uh, like task, like the practical approach. I'll try to follow the practical approach here. Like what are the things you have to set up? What are the prerequisite? What are the things you have to install? How to write your code? How to uh, how to actually enable something in the AWS console? Everything I'll be going to covered in this tutorial but before I actually start the actual uh, tutorial I want to actually show you a few things like if you go to this URL Python Langchain this URL you will get all the details about this thing even the codes are actually available there okay so what I'll do I'll be just going to share this link here so basically you can get it from uh, here like some documentation and if you want to know what is bedrock so basically AWS bedrock is a fully managed service that offers choice of high performance uh, high performing foundation model so basically i'm not going to read the entire thing so basically aws is the platform which is actually completely managed by aws and there they are hosting all the llms from the third party maybe anthropic some amazon models are, amazon models are there mistral's models are there llama 3 models are there i don't think OpenAI is actually listed there but i will show you how to actually do that okay so these are the things so I'm not, I'm not going to actually do anything here just closing this thing so first thing first let me actually go to my next slide and start the tutorial so basically if you see here uh, what exactly you're gonna do the, in this tutorial first we'll set up the AWS uh, uh, access ID and secretly okay so I believe all of you are having AWS account so you will log into your AWS account and after that you have to go to your IAM here and after that uh, you have to actually create an user here right for example I have created this user after creating this user from here uh, let me show you uh, maybe you can just show you like a tutorial I'm just creating a user tutorial and after that just next and attach policies directly so basically I'll be just going to give it administrator access everything next because uh, it's my account I can do anything and create user so user is created once the user is created you have to create to this user you have to go to the security credential and you have to actually create access key right and after that you have to select application running out of the aws and after that you have to click on next and create access key once this access key is ready you have to just download the csv file right for example i have downloaded this csv file okay file is downloaded right so this task is over like set up the access key and secret key now what will happen aws configure on your machine then what you have to do you have to actually minimize everything you have to open your terminal or uh, command prompt if you are using mac terminal if you are on windows and then it is command prompt okay and after that you have to type this command aws configure okay so some of you might get some error that aws command is not found so for that case what you have to do uh, you have to actually install install aws cli okay that's it you have to just write in the google aws cli installation it will give you and after you install you won't get this error now it is saying that access id so basically i have already set up everything so that is why it is giving me this values are already there so for your case what you have to do just now you downloaded the file the credential file from here right you downloaded this file if you open this file this file will have the information about your access id you have to copy and paste and after that you have to hit enter and then it will ask you the secret access key then again in the same file you will have a section um, aws secret key access key you have to copy that you have to paste that and after that you have to hit enter and also your region will be there and also this thing will be there right everything is there actually and done right so region and this thing you can select anything 
but make sure you are going to select the same region in the model okay so once this thing is done your aws is configuration is done then you have to just close this thing the next thing is actually set up bedrock access from the console now you have to go to your aws and you have to search for bedrock okay amazon bedrock okay once i go to amazon bedrock you have to click on get started and there all the models are listed right you can select any model but i believe amazon models are cheap i have to click on here and after that it is showing me all the models and make sure that which region you are selecting and that will be very important you have to click here and see we are selecting us east one okay so now what you have to do yeah you have to click on uh, all examples right so basically um, maybe uh, i will see here which model i have access so basically i have access i have access to some model okay so let me check which model i have access so i believe i have access to this model okay right so here yeah, if if some models you want to access you have to click on here so this account does not currently access you have to click on model access in model access if you go here in this page you will see so i have only access to this model remember okay i have access to this model titan text premier so basically to actually uh, see the examples you have to click on examples and you have to select your model so basically uh, this model is uh, titan this uh, my model name is actually premier so basically uh, let's scroll down titan text premier so basically this model so see this model is selected here so it is saying i don't have access so basically um, i have access to this model only in this premier okay just scroll down scroll down yes the moment i click this thing see see open in playground okay so it is asking me to open the playground okay so let me actually open in playground there's something is written even test this thing and also if you want to actually see the examples like you have to click here all the examples are there so basically um, see this is my titan premier model all examples are there so basically you have to copy this thing for the coding purpose so now what i will do i will go to my code and start writing the code so basically uh, once these things are done so basically the thing is actually the installation has to be done at the beginning so let me actually control x and let me do this thing here and after that let's create like this okay okay right and then i'll be going to, to uh, write the code here okay so let's start writing the code let's minimize everything let's do here so a uh, couple of installation you have to do again so basically you have to install boto3 from pip install boto3 and you have to install langchain aws okay so if you go to here langchain Langchain underscore AWS pipeline is coming. So basically, you have to go here and you have to install this module. Okay. So without this thing, uh, your code will get some error, right? So let me minimize or close this thing and I'll go here and let's start writing the code, right? So first thing first, we have to import bottle three. Okay. We have to import bottle three here. Okay. Uh, let me make it a little bit maximize. Okay. So import bottle three is here, right? and then what will happen we have to actually import from langchain aws import i think it will be chat chat bedrock okay same thing then we'll be going to create a client object okay so it should be bottle three dot client okay so basically my service name service underscore name is actually what is my service name bedrock runtime bedrock i believe bedrock underscore runtime i don't know whether it's <laughs> underscore or hyphen so don't worry about this thing these things you don't need to remember if you just search in the google uh, that will uh, tell you like what what it will be like bedrock underscore or hyphen so basically it will be bedrock hyphen runtime okay done now next thing is actually region name so basically in which region i created if you go here so it is north virginia so basically us uh, us east one right without the region it will not work okay so basically you have to write now region underscore name okay and then uh, us hyphen east hyphen one okay right now what is going to happen and now we'll be going to create an instance of our llm so basically uh, like this chat bedrock 
right? And then a uh, couple of things. So first thing, model ID. Okay. Then we have to mention the client. So CLI client. So model ID. I uh, will get it from here, right? Right. If you use any other model ID, it won't work, and the client will be client. Okay, client. Right. Okay. So basically, like this. Now let's execute this thing, and let's see whether I'm getting any error or not. Okay. So no error. It means everything is working fine. Right. So next thing. Uh, next thing. Uh, there is no next thing actually our coding is over and most of you already know what is uh, the what could be the next thing so they so i have to just create a variable response and llm dot info right nothing else right so what we're gonna write here so we're gonna write let's see uh, could you please give some uh, information on blockchain technology okay right and after that we'll be going to just print this thing okay so this is very simple so in this tutorial i'm not going to do any rag or other things because our objective is actually not that our objective is actually to make uh, everyone enable uh, or to make everyone uh, uh, like um, to make you guys understand how this bedrock things work with your language and cause I saw a lot of tutorial and they are in those tutorials things are kind of complicated even I had problem to understand because it requires only two lines of code because I'm not considering this thing as a part of code right and these things you already know like if you are familiar with AWS bottle 3 only basically one line of code is actually required but again if you are already following my channel then you know these things are very simple right so there is no rocket science uh, involved here it's a very simple tutorial so i got so many requests i thought of creating this tutorial i believe this five minute tutorial will help everyone and this is actually going to make everyone's life easy those are actually planning to do something with aws bedrock so let's see so with the help of this three four lines code we'll be going to get see sorry i cannot proceed with this request additional so what is this uh, contain tradition inference completion token this thing this that okay so users from token completion token this so i don't know what is happening here mm. so service name bedrock runtime mm. let me see uh, what is the problem here us east one bottle three client is there model id is there hmm. okay strange uh, sorry you cannot process proceed with this request okay so this is strange from token eight completion token zero is zero uh, amazon titan text premium vd this one okay so what could be the reason i really don't know so mm, this is something this is model id is here client is here okay let me check if something i missed here mm, no nothing as such everything is working fine mm, okay let me do it one more time If this time also I'm getting the same response, then there is a problem with a AWS. But if not, then probably uh, something is working. Okay. So see, I haven't done anything. See, it's working now. So blockchain is a technology centralized. So basically, let me do it one more time. Okay. So one more time, guys. It's some different question. Okay. So what we'll do? Let me let me here and let me actually make it a little bit smaller. Uh, like like this uh, write write an article on AI in 
health healthcare okay let's see so with the help of this three four lines of code we'll be able to actually integrate aws bedrock with our llm application obviously this is not an application but you can imagine this is an application and here i'm using langchain and also i'm using the aws bedrock okay so let's execute this thing and now within a couple of seconds it is going to give me the uh, generated high quality answer okay so let's see almost three four seconds are done just because i'm residing in india it is going to hit the aws uh, api which is again the location is usa and from there it actually it is using the model and after that it is doing so many different things and after that i'm getting the response that is why it is taking some time right so basically if you see content is actually like this so uh, maybe i can just write response dot content so basically um, we will be going to get the correct uh, more refined answer now so let me try this thing one more time uh, health care or maybe education education sector so let me okay so i'll be going to ask another question now so this time i'm just using the answer from the response and if you see here it's just a three four lines of code and with this code i'll be able to actually use uh, this uh, language model which is hosted on aws bedrock and have integrated that amazon bedrock service in my code so you can understand uh, this code is very easy and with the help of this code you can easily integrate aws bedrock within your ai application or llm application or anything like whatever so that was the ask uh, for uh, this tutorial that how to integrate aws bedrock with uh, langchain or how we can integrate aws bedrock with our llm application so this is the thing i believe uh, uh, if you are directly copying the code from the lang change probably you will get some error or something like that so make sure you are using the service name in this way and you are actually using the region name like this way or else you might get some error so that is the main catch uh, here if you don't use these things then probably you will get some error so let me actually execute this part now so if i execute i'll be going to get the answer in maybe in 10 seconds why i'm uh, why it is actually taking 10 seconds because uh, I'm, I'm using this machine in India and my API is actually configured for this region. So the request itself taking time to reach and after that I'm actually getting uh, some delay because of the response generation, right? So if you see here, it is generating the high quality answer here. So title this, okay? So this is super cool, right? So uh, as I said, the tutorial objective is actually just to make you guys enable uh, for uh, for using uh, AWS Bedrock with Langchain. So in the upcoming tutorial, I'll be going to do some more fun stuff with AWS Bedrock. So just stay tuned. Uh, try to subscribe to our channel. It's not a try, guys. Please try to subscribe to my channel. It's a request. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're again existing viewer, if you're not subscribing, please subscribe to my channel. If you see, I have uploaded almost 85 videos. It's an 85th tutorial. So please help me to grow because your one subscription will help me to actually grow towards my uh, actual objective my actual objective is actually to get promoted by youtube algorithm to reach large number of audience so that i can help them to learn uh, like various technologies i hope you guys will help me to reach my goals and also try to sh uh, share my videos with your family and friend and if you think these videos are helping you at all or if you think something is still missing in the video just let me know have some sort of feedback i'll try to incorporate all those things in my upcoming videos okay with that note i'm just going to conclude the video over here we'll be going to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning